Hello, welcome back to Brand Switch Lab Learning. In this episode, I want to show you the process on how you can use grease pencil and turn it into some kind of uh, abstract sculpting tools. Um, as you may already know, whenever I'm doing uh, grease pencil in Blender, I treat this like uh, kind of like a first class object. So grease pencil, I think this is the, the highest uh, in, in all compared to other objects like curve or bones i think grease pencil is really powerful and i often use it as a sculpting tool in this case um i cannot convert grease pencil into uh, grease, uh geometry nodes yet but i can always um, right click and then convert this into bezier curve and then using the bezier curve to convert it into one of these so and this guy uh is actually I think I talked about this before. So basically, with curve, it's um, in Blender. It's quite special. You might think that if you convert this into a curve, and you have a curve, okay, I can just turn it into mesh just simply by using Dev. Okay, yeah, that's one way to do it. Um, you can also increase the resolutions. Um, but this doesn't give you a lot of flexibility. I mean, you can always kind of remesh this. It's probably doing the same thing, like what I'm doing here uh, using geometry nodes. However, let's take a look. Okay, this curve with the depth set to zero, it's gonna stay as curve. Okay, if you turn on the depth, it's gonna turn into mesh, some kind of mesh. Uh, transitional mode but if you keep it at zero then you can kind of modify it inside geometry nodes so you can treat this as a normal uh, curve that you can uh, kind of loft and you can resample so this is already kind of cool so this is one way to do it the second one is slightly seems to be more complex i think i, I talked about this too in the past <clears throat> in this <clears throat> in this case you are uh, you can do like resampling of the curve but you also want to keep the the radius that that comes from grease pencil so this is when you need to use uh, transfer attributes and just keeping this value and pipe it into the point to volume and volume to mesh okay so this is something uh, you want to keep in mind when doing this type of conversion. So if you want to make a skull, for example, I'm going to hide everything. H again, I'm going to shift A and then create a new grease pencil blank. I'm going to draw and then right click, set the strength to 100% and radius somewhere somehow tick so you can you can start sculpting sculpting like a what of whatever shape you want okay it could be like a kind of like a pretzel pretzel shapes um, so this is flat so by default it's flat like this and you want to adjust your stroke placement maybe using another stroke and then there's the, the target can be all points, end points, or the first point. If you are using the all points, you can actually connect this point into that point. Okay, so that's kind of cool in, in a way. I wish there's a way to just adjust this quickly based on those two pivots. But uh, for now, let me just keep it like this. So you can kind of connect stroke into another stroke. So it's becoming kind of like a like a complete structure or like yeah like for sculpture as long they're kind of connected you can make all type of random looking sculpture I mean you can uh, you can even like uh, like make a character if you if you are con confident and uh, used to this type of uh, kind of like a 3D 3D sculpting brush, there's actually like a real tool, like a physical tool 
allowing you to draw in 3D using like a plastic. Okay, let's say go to the top view again. I want this to be like a complete sculpt, just like, for example, like imagine like metals and you're you want to draw in 3d like branches okay so let's say we have something like this and then you want to add some kind of design sculpt play around with thickness you want to add some kind of randomness this will give kind of like more natural look to it this is I think uh, one of the 3d therapy that I recommend as well okay so once you're once you're happy with this you can right click convert this into bezier and then you're gonna have this new curve type object this one is actually quite high in term of density you can actually clean this up beforehand but don't do that for now actually just just keep it like this you can add depth this is a quick way but in this case we're not doing that once again we're gonna use the modifier and there you go it's becoming like a solid object and you can switch between the two style in fact you you don't you don't need to stop here you can actually further play around with this so this one is actually really clean for example and you can right click convert this into mesh now it's totally baked as a normal mesh you can then use um, other thing other tools like remesh let's go pretty deep pretty high resolutions and then you can use sculpt mode maybe cloth filter this is my favorite just inflate it right so this is pretty fun and interesting i call this uh maybe some kind of pretzel type of modeling you don't you you need to have something in mind but you probably you don't need to if you're doing like a 3d therapy you just want to have a little bit of fun so at this point you can actually decimate as well just reduce it again in polygon count reduce it reduce the number if you want to do that or you can do like a remeshing where is the remesh quad quadrifold let's try 10,000 face turn off mesh symmetry and just try running this quadrifold flow and it's gonna try to turn it into quad so yeah it's pretty it's pretty clean maybe you can use another cloth filter let's try to ah maybe not let's say i'm pretty happy with this um, expand no it doesn't work maybe i can use the shift q uh, random flow okay random flow we can try selecting all the polygon face and then random flow shift q just extrude this randomly let's see if we're gonna get something interesting out of this or it's gonna take too long so it's starting to give some sort of details
Let's shift Q again. I'll go one and three, and I I can randomize the seed as well. It's gonna try to make these random extrusions. So that's gonna be the new detail for our objects. You know what I, you know what I mean? So yeah, and from this we can also shift Q and then random vertex color based on different island. Now we have some kind of colorful abstract looking sculpt which is uh, or originally just a grease pencil there's a volume mode and there's also the curve mode okay so yeah so that's basically what I want to show you again this is the whole geometry nodes two ways you can treat a curve the second one is actually turning it into volume um, still kind of pretty interesting to know um, all right so hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye